Hebrew Words We're about to turn to a discussion of Hebrew verbs. But before I discuss verbs, I want to just introduce you to Hebrew words in general, and something called roots. Hebrew is built on what they call a triliteral root system, meaning three roots. So let me write this down here. This is how I diagram roots. Just put a little uh, placeholders for roots. And these roots are consonants. To these consonants, these roots, you can also call them radicals. You can add prefixes on the front end. You can add suffixes over here at the back. You can add infixes in the middle somewhere. And of course, you add vowels. And when you add these different parts, you get different words. The root never appears just by itself, at least not in a pointed text, a text with vowels. Um, you always have something going on, something added to it. But what you get here is a group then, a group of words, nouns, adjectives, verbs, that are all related by their basic root. And so they all have some relation and meaning. Now, dictionaries, especially the BDB, BDB is short for Brown Driver Briggs, Brown Driver Briggs, the authors. It's, it's a standard dictionary that's been around for a very long time, and it's a good one, but it's a bit hard to use initially because it doesn't list the words alphabetically. It lists them, or only quasi-alphabetically, it lists them alphabetically by root, not by the first letter. So if you have a prefix here, so you have a yud prefix, you won't see this word, if this was a root with a yud prefix, you wouldn't see this word listed under yud. You'd see it listed under whatever the first radical is here, the first root. The advantage though, once you have figured out how to find roots in words, is that when you find a word in the dictionary, when you finally get to it, um, you can see all the related words. If you l listed them by the first letter, then you would just, you would see a word next to it that has nothing to do with this whatsoever. So it allows you to group words by semantic domains. Okay, let's look at how this works with an example. We have one root. We'll look at one root and its many patterns. And we'll take the example of melech. Melech means king. We've seen this before. All of this, by the way, comes from this listing here. It comes from Sales Grammar. He used this in his chapter where he describes roots. Melech means king. Now, what are the roots here? We've got only three letters, so we don't have much choice. Mem, Lamed, Kaf. Right? So, Mem, Lamed, Kaf. And I'll put the medial form. If it's the last letter in the word, then you use the final form like that. And in this word, king, all we've done is we've added some vowels. So, no extra prefixes, suffixes, or infixes, just the vowels. Now, if we add a suffix, like a, here, in this case, and it's accompanying vowel changes, we get queen. So, we've added a suffix, we still have main, lam, main lamed, kaf, and obviously these are related, king and queen. Different word, though. Malchut, kingship, or reign, so we have another, another word that's related with a different suffix. Here we have mamlacha, which means kingdom. So we have another noun, and this one has a prefix, the main prefix, and a, a suffix. The root here is this main, and then the lam and the kaf. So not only can we do nouns, we can also do verbs. Malach means he reigned. And here we have the basic form, mam, uh, main lam and kaf, here, when we go into the present or the future, this is used for both present and future. We'll talk about all these details and verbs a little later. But for now, just note that there is a prefix here, ye, yimloch, but the same basic root is there, same three letters. And molech, another verb, actually a participle in this case, um, again, the same basic letters. So we've added different vowels, different prefixes, suffixes, etc., and we come up with this group of words that all have something to do with kings, kingship, reigning, queen, whatever. So that's how Hebrew works. We have roots. One root doesn't stand alone. You add bits to it and you get a whole group of words. One root and many patterns.